The little choices someone makes tell you a lot about them. During a city council meeting, Mike Millman read aloud a text message from State Senator Mark Mullet. A Seattle journalist wanted to know more and filed a public records request. The request was pretty simple. All text messages between the two. What did Millman turn over? Not much. One screenshot. He did sign an affidavit swearing that this was a complete response. Do you see the problem? Let me highlight it. Anyone with an iPhone knows that blur, that blue blur, means there's another message bubble below. This is an incomplete response. But it takes two to text, so one Woodenville triangulated and made the same request of Mark Mullet, word for word, just reversing the names. What did he provide? A lot more than one screenshot, 18 screenshots. Here, composited together to show you a one week long discussion between Mike Millman and Mark Mullet, addressing topics about the city of Woodenville and a bill Mark Mullet was working to amend. In the end, the text accomplished nothing. Everything Mullet said he'd do failed in committee. Woodenville got no changes into the bill. Remember I said little choices reveal the person? The big story here is not the text messages or the bill or Mark Mullet. It's the action. It's that Mike Millman signed a false affidavit for no reason at all. Under the PRA, all documents must be released.